Burt Reynolds has died. No cause of death has yet been released. The New York Post is reporting at this hour uh, that he passed away today at the age of 82. According to the Post, his manager has confirmed the death to The Hollywood Reporter, saying he died today at Jupiter Medical in Florida, Jupiter, Florida, on the East Coast. A former college football player who took up acting after an injury cut short his playing career, Burt Reynolds spent a decade taking on bit roles in Hollywood before breaking through with roles in some of the biggest films of the decade, including Deliverance, The Longest Yard, and the movie for which he's probably best known, Smokey and the Bandit. Reynolds was born in Lansing, Michigan in February of 1936. His family settled in Riviera Beach, Florida, after his father, who served in the Army, returned from Europe in 1946. He was an all-state football player in high school, attended Florida State University, played for the Knowles on an athletic scholarship at halfback. Although he intended to go pro, Burt Reynolds' career was cut short by a series of injuries. He briefly contemplated a career in law enforcement, but a teacher recognized his talent while reading Shakespeare in English class and pushed him toward acting. The move would be a fruitful one, earning him a Florida State Drama Award in 1956, which came with a scholarship to Hyde Park Playhouse, a summer stock theater in Hyde Park. Later, he went on to be known by most Americans and people around the world, an iconic American actor, Burt Reynolds, dead today at 82. He died, we've just learned from his manager, of cardiac arrest. Further details have not yet been released. When we have them, we'll bring them to you.